pandemic may have forced several businesses to close, it hasn't spelled game over for everyone's passions. Kelly Thompson owns Utah Pinball Repair, and he's a collector of the machines too. It's just something that you get passionate about. He said since the beginning of the pandemic, he's had an increase in calls from people wanting him to come and check out their pinball machines and help them get them working again. Definitely since the pandemic, people being at home, if they had a machine sitting in their basement, they noticed it and then it's inspired them to call me to come fix their machine. Thompson isn't the only one seeing more business from pinball during the pandemic. Quarters Arcade Bar in downtown Salt Lake City is noticing it too. We were closed for three months, so that was the hardest part. Reopening was nerve-wracking, but after being open for four months now, we're kind of used to the new normal. That new normal is spacing out machines using plexiglass dividers at the bar and cleaning down all or surfaces regularly, as well as requiring people to wear masks and be socially distant. Michael Eccleston, the owner of Quarters, said he doesn't see some of his regulars anymore, but now he says he's seen new regulars who haven't played before or in quite some time. We're going to be starting up Pinball League night again, so hopefully we'll be able to, like, um start rebuilding our community. Both Eccleston and Thompson said they're seeing more interest in home pinball play too, whether it's buying or renting machines. As you can imagine, not all pinball machines are the same. If you are thinking about investing in one, there are a few things you need to do, like check it out, play around with it. Does it seem quite right to you? Of course, every pinball machine has its own story, so check that story with the owner to make sure it all lines up. The kind of joke about it in the hobby is like, you get one and then you better make space for the next one that's coming in within six months. Thompson said the older electromechanical ones are a few hundred dollars up to a few thousand for the 80s or 90s era games. <laughs> Meanwhile, more modern games can cost upwards of $5,000.